Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today I have a review of Roman Silver's Forever Flame EP. Roman Silver is a relatively new artist to me. When he released the first single off of this EP, Friends, on Monster Cat, this whole EP being on Monster Cat as well, I uh, started to really listen to him for the first time, I guess, at that point, and I went back and listened to his entire discography. Roman Silver's production style and or genres are kind of interesting, and I would say it's more defined as experimental deep or experimental electronic, something along the lines like that. This project in particular by Monster Cat was labeled as electronic, 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 indie dance, and drum and bass. But those electronic tracks are kind of more deep house-ish. They use a lot more uh, kind of thwumps from the deep house genre, but they're not quite that. It's a, it's a mishmash of stuff, and uh, I actually kind of like it. For the most part, Roman Silver for me is either iffy, the tracks are kind of meh, and or they are amazing. And I'll get into some of those amazing tracks later on. But uh, for now, we're going to talk about Forever Flame. And Forever Flame is actually a kind of spiritual successor to an earlier project, an earlier EP from 2020, uh, called Like Lightning, which was not on Monster Cat. But this is kind of a uh, part two and or spiritual successor of the last project. For reference, I gave the Like Lightning EP a 6 out of 10. And if you want to see any of my other ratings or anything else that I've talked about, sometimes I don't put all of my ratings on YouTube. Some of them are a little more uh, smaller stuff, and so I put those just on albumoftheyear.org is the website I use. So you can go there, look up Bowtie Media, and you can see everything I've reviewed through the year and where my current Album of the Year final rankings are for both the EPs and albums. But let's get into this EP. It is five songs long and 18 minutes long of runtime. Forever kicks off the track list and is a collaboration between Roman Silver and Tails. And uh, sometimes when artists collaborate on projects, they don't really sound like both artists coming in and creating one. They kind of sound a little like a in-between of whatever. But this track is perfectly a Tails and Roman Silver track. If there was any example or exemplary track that I would say, hey, uh, this is what's producer one and producer two. They're sounds perfectly blend together into one track. What would it be? What's your example? This would be it forever with Roman Silver and Tails. The vocal chops on this track are fun, engaging, and I love the use of the little swell. It's like a wah, keep it, and the wah, for wah, and just kind of does a little ramp up every time. And speaking of ramping up, coming out of the first drop, the song hits a kind of nice, it's not really a tempo change, but it feels a lot more driven at that point, and it keeps the energy up a lot with this track. It's a pretty solid one. Skin featuring Beach Season is uh, actually a pretty weird track. It's a little interesting, and I think the idea of actually Beach Season does a good job of kind of giving the idea of what the track is. It almost sounds like you're on a paradise or tropical island listening to the track. It starts with this nice little flute intro that kind of gets a little more uh, driven, just like the last song did. And uh, it kind of goes into the, I guess, backing track and provides a background element to uh, at least just the first build of the song. Beach Season has a pretty okay feature on this track, but what I think is the most weird or interesting part about the track is that Roman Silver does something weird to the vocal chops here. And uh, it almost like uh, fades out, does a quick fade out at the end of all the vocal chops, and it makes it sound like someone is like grasping for air. It's really weird and off-putting, and I really don't enjoy listening to it. It almost feels like I need to help someone, or they, just audibly, it just feels, it feels like someone's struggling. It's an unsettling sound and makes the whole track to me quite mm, uneasy. But on to the third track, Friends featuring Che. And uh, this, this track is miles ahead of anything else on this project, in my little humble opinion. I think this track is phenomenal, and I wish Roman Silver did more things just like this one. Roman Silver brings in this electric guitar strumming pretty early on, and it makes the track pretty unassuming at first. It doesn't feel like it's going to get either really deep, heavy, and or energetic. But uh, it definitely does. And Che's vocals throughout this track are okay. They're not the worst. They're also not the best thing I've ever heard. Uh, they do keep the track uh, grounded, I would say. But this is where the genre kind of defining of Roman Silver is weird. And just the whole idea of genre defining is has a, it's a big, bigger conversation in the EDM community about should we really define genres. And this song is a perfect example of that. It is labeled as electronic by Monster Cat. Uh, but it really doesn't fit anything in particular. It's got a lot of nice deep house hits in it and these higher melody of synths, but uh, it doesn't really fall into any specific genre. But those sounds, like I'm saying earlier, that sound like deep house, I love it. It is fantastic. It is my perfect flavor of deep house. They are so funky and they hit hard 
and have this rough edge to them that works really well in tandem with the kind of unassuming electric that's brought in through the most of the track. It's one of those songs to me that you either love or hate. You either love the drop for the most part and just love the song for that reason only, or it's you're just kind of meh on the drop and the rest of it kind of falls flat for you. But uh, for me, this hit uh, hit quite well. And fourth up is Lies featuring Yas Aquarius. And this song is the, uh, the least out there of anything I would say. Roman Silver is very experimental with a lot that he does. And this is the one indie track genre, whatever, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Uh, the one indie dance, more fun of funner, upbeat track on the project. And uh, it's not quite as experimental as Roman Silver normally does. And it's kind of just there. It feels more like a filler track. And I would be shocked if this was anyone's like absolute favorite track on the project. To me, you go to listen to Roman Silver for the weird, funky, experimental sounds. And uh, this just isn't quite that. So it's not necessarily a bad song. It's just not what I want to hear from Roman Silver. Get Lost finalizes the track list and is uh, the most unique and surprising track of anything on this project by far. It's got this nice raw vocal chop that's added throughout pretty much the entire track that sounds like it's been run through a uh, tin pipe. And it's got this kind of uh, tingy, really high metallic sound to it uh, that feels nice and it feels raw and it mixes really well with what I'm gonna talk about in a second. For the first minute and a bit of this song, it's kind of hard to tell where it's going. And I did this at a first listen without seeing anything else about the track. And I was kind of curious about, huh, I wonder where this is gonna go. And then it drops. Holy moly, this thing is kind of nutty. This is one of the harder dance floor drum and bass tracks I have heard on Monster Cat this year. This thing is kind of like Friends. It's really unassuming at first, but when it gets going, it really gets going. I talked about that kind of metallic vocal chop, and when it's paired with the really bright melody of this track on top of the drops, it is just, it's something else. It goes, it's a great track. And even though this isn't my favorite from the project, I know this is a majority, I would say, the people that I've listened to or talked to about this track or this project as a whole think this is their favorite of the whole EP. And that second drop, oh, it is gritty and rough and tough. It's only got about like a two bars or two or four bar intro into, until the drop is relatively copy pasted. But that thing is, it, you feel it in your soul. Overall, this project was pretty unique and good. I really enjoyed it. I think Roman Silver's production style of the weird experimentally kind of deeper sounds with the higher, brighter melodies is, uh, it works really quite well. As a spiritual successor to Like Lightning, I think this thing is definitely a step up. Forever Flame is the superior of the two parts. And in the end, I'm going to give Roman Silver's Forever Flame EP a 7. But thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Bowtied Media. Let me know what you guys think of this project. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think that Like Lightning was better? Who knows? I'd love to hear in the comment section below. Leave a like if you liked and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will see you guys in another video.